Hello all, welcome to my channel. Before I start the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because it makes me feel better about myself. Also I have started a discord server that is almost at 200 members. We talk anything GFX and Fortnite related and overall it's a chill server you should definitely join or I'm on 10 times big gay. Also don't forget to follow my twitter which I attempt to tweet daily on. Thank you and enjoy the video. Have you always wanted to know how you can make your Fortnite thumbnails look 10 times better? Well today I'm going to be showing you all how to make custom skin textures in Blender like these ones. This will help you to make any skin any color you want, or to put any logo on a skin. Before you start you are going to need a couple of things. First you need to have some type of image editing software. Photoshop is really recommended, but you can also use a free photo editor called Pixlr that I used to use a lot before Photoshop. Pixlr is a free online photo editor which is really really good and useful if you are a broke ass boy like me. It can pretty much do most of the things Photoshop can do. I will put the link in the description. Next you are going to need a software called Umodel, which is used to export Fortnite skins and textures for us to use however we want. Of course you are going to need Blender. Now let's begin. Firstly we are going to need to open Umodel, so we can get the texture for the skin we want. Click on the three dots to the right of the path to game files text box. Now we are going to navigate to our game files. The default location will be on your desktop. Go to Fortnite. Fortnite game. Content. And packs. Then click select folder at the bottom. Now tick override game detection. For the first pop down box we are going to select Unreal Engine 4. For the second pop down box we are going to select Unreal Engine 4.24 or whichever is the latest. Under the export only classes section, tick the sound box. Now click OK. It's going to now ask you to enter in the AES key. I always post the latest AES key inside of my discord server, so if you want to stay updated on them, because they do change very often, you should definitely join my discord server and never leave it for as long as you live. So now we just copy and paste it in. Today my specimen is going to be the iconic skin, mainly because the texture is very simple and my inert brain cannot process anything too complex. I'm just going to copy and paste the body and head texture for it into the search bar. How do I already know the name of the texture you may ask? It's because I have a link to a spread sheet with a very wide amount of skin IDs inside of it. If you want the link to this spreadsheet, I have it posted inside my discord server which you should definitely consider joining. I usually tick the flat view box so I can find them more easily. Now there are a lot of textures that show up. We only need three of them. To the left of the .uasset extension, there are letters that each of the textures end with. The only ones we need are the ones that end with D, N, and S. Now I'm going to hold the shift button and click the three to select them. Now click export. Do the same for any other texture for that skin. For example, the head or any other accessories like a hat. They will by default export to a folder called umodel export. You can always change this destination folder to your desired folder. Today we are only going to be working with the D texture. I'm only exporting the N and S texture for reference purposes that I will tell you about in a bit. Now that we've done that, let's open our photo editing software. Now we are in Photoshop. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this with my version of Photoshop. Any other photo editor should be very similar so try to follow along. Let's open the textures. Locate where you exported the textures to, and then open them. It should look like this. Now we have to analyze the textures, and where we must put anything like a logo. For example, where is the front of the shirt? Where is the back of the shirt? Shoes, hands, hoodies, etc. I like to have a picture of the skin I'm using as a reference, so I can locate these things. For this custom texture I want to change the red to a nice light blue color and the black to something else which I figure out while I'm typing this shit. Maybe white. What I usually do is change them piece by piece. So I'm going to use the one tool 
to select the pieces I want to change first. Now that I've selected them, I'm going to change its color. You can always just use the color fill option to change the color, but I'm in a god tier class, so I'm going to make it a gradient. This isn't a photoshop tutorial, so I'm not really going to go through the process of making a gradient. Now I'm going to put my name on where I figure the front of the shirt is. And now it looks 10 times sexier. Now I'm going to explain what the N and S texture are for. The reason we need these textures is to get rid of any faded out logos that might be on a skin. For example, the Nightbeam skin has a logo on the back of it. If you want to get rid of it, you will have to open the N and S texture in your photo editor and erase them or blend them in with the background of it. Just remember to stick with the same color scheme. When you are done you should save it as either a PNG file or JPEG. It really doesn't matter. Now we are going to open Blender. Now we open the model we are going to use. One quick note first. When you are opening a model, don't click the open button. When you click on file, click the append button. It won't open and will most likely crash if you don't use the append option instead. Once you have the model opened, near the bottom of the screen above the playback options, there's a line. What you want to do is drag up this line so that you can see where the nodes will be. Once you drag that up, in the top left corner of what you just dragged up, there should be a drop down box with a clock symbol. Click on it then find where it says shader editor. This is where textures come together to form babies otherwise known as non-ass looking textures. All of these boxes are known as nodes. Each node contains a vital texture that make up the look of the skin. All we are doing is changing one of them for now and making it our own. Look for the node that contains the D texture. After looking through each node like looking for shrimps under rocks and locating the D texture, click the little tiny microscopic X next to the open image button to delete the texture that's already there. Now click the open image button next to the X and locate where your custom texture is. Once you've found it, click open image. Now as you can see, we have successfully made this skin customized. If you need to change the N and S textures, just do the same thing you did for the D texture. Now let's do the hood slash head. Click the browse material button to switch to where the head textures are. Now do the same thing we did for the body. Locate where the node for the D texture is. Once you find it, delete the texture that's inside of it and replace it with yours. Also, if you cannot see the textures or if the model is grey and not showing color, all you need to do is click the viewport shading button in the top right corner. Now we have the sexiest looking skin ever bestowed upon the eyes of mere mortals. The way I recommend getting better at making custom textures is to just keep doing them. Textures will always vary depending on the skin. Skins will have different features. For example, the iconic skin has a microphone attached to its belt. Another skin might have glasses or might have shotgun shells across its chest. So you will have to use your big brain to match up which belongs to which. Practice makes perfect. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like to let me know. And a huge thanks for the amount of support I got on my last tutorial video. It has almost 5000 views and 100 plus likes. If you wish to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know in the comment section. Also guys I'm going to try and make some more gaming videos. If you have any suggestions, let me hear them in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my GFX Discord server. Link to everything will be in the description. Thanks for watching and stay safe.